Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna be reacting to Dave Chappelle racism. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. That's the thing, there's so much stuff, there's so much stuff to worry about. You know, the more you know, the more you don't know and shit. You know, like a lot of people be telling me, Dave, you know, you just gotta relax. The racism thing be bugging you too much. I be thinking about it. Sometimes shit'll happen. You know, a lot of black people can relate to this. Have you ever had something happen that was so racist that you didn't even get mad? You were just like, God damn, that was racist. That was racist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was so blatant. You were just like, wow. I've had that. Like, it almost like it didn't even happen to you. It was like a fucking movie. That was a, like he was watching Mississippi Burning. Wow. <laughs> That happened to me. I, I was in Mississippi. I was in Mississippi doing a show, and I go to the restaurant to order some food. And uh, I say to the guy, I say, I would like to have, and before I even finish my sentence, he says, the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I could not believe it. Predetermined. I could not believe that shit. This man was absolutely right. I said, how did he know <laughs> that I was going to get some chicken? I asked him, I said, how do you know that? How did you know I was going to get some chicken? He looked at me like I was crazy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> now, everybody knew as soon as you walked through the goddamn door, you are going to get some chicken. <laughs> there is no secret down here that blacks and chickens are quite fond of one another. <laughs> We're fucked up, but... Then I finally understood what he was saying, and I got upset. I wasn't even mad. I was just upset. I wasn't ready to hear that shit. All these years, I thought I liked chicken because it was delicious. <laughs> Turns out I'm genetically predisposed to liking chicken. I said, what? Fucked up. I got no say in the man. I got ruined chicken for me. I'm scared to eat it in public. I don't I want somebody to see me and say something. You know what I mean? Like you be eating some chicken. <laughs> Look at him. He loves it. <laughs> Just like it's in the encyclopedia. Look how happy he looks. <laughs> this is absolutely brilliant, man. Sometimes you will be too much to deal with. That show business be crazy. That's where the cultures really collide. Show business bring a lot of races together. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. This is one thing that happens that's funny. You know, sometimes I'll be on a business call, right? You know, like with a with a lawyer or something. You know, my lawyers be white and uh and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and like we'll be on a call, right? And they'll be like, "Oh, okay, Dave, we're gonna we're gonna close the deal. Is that fine with you?" I'll be like, "Yeah, that's good for me. Great, great. You have a good weekend, Dave." I'll be like, "All right, you too, man. Peace. <laughs> oh, all right, uh, bye bye." <laughs> Twenty in a word, just to confuse people. <laughs> I don't know what to say, right? So sometimes, uh, <laughs> sometimes I'll make up shit that's not even slang. Just to see how they handle it and shit. It'd be the same business go, all right, we're going to close the deal. Is that fine with you, Dave? Yeah, sounds good to me. Great. You have a good weekend, Dave. All right, buddy. Zip it up and zip it out. <laughs> oh. All right. Zip it do that. Bye-bye. Zip it do that. Bye-bye. Sometimes, you know, Sometimes racism works out in black people's favor. Now, it doesn't happen often. It happens very rarely, but when it happens, it is fucking sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. This one time racism saved my life, man. I was, I was on a plane. I, w I, was coming, I was coming from overseas, and uh, I don't know, how this guy got a machine gun on the plane, but he stood up, man. He said, everybody, get on the fucking ground. Nobody look at my face. <laughs> I started freaking out. 
because he was Chinese. I was like, why is he talking like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you flip a joke on his head. He was screaming and crying. I was the only brother on the plane. Well, I, I thought I was the only brother. I looked over. There was one other black dude. He was from Nigeria. I, I looked over to him. He was looking right in my face, man. He didn't say two words to me. He just looked at me. He was like... <laughs> <laughs> He didn't need to talk. I knew just what he was talking about. I looked right back at him. I was like. <laughs> Some white dudes on the front of the plane seen us. They were like, oh my God. I think those black guys are going to try to save us. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. We were just communicating that we understood the situation. We were both seeing the same thing. What we understood was simple. Terrorists don't take black hostages. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. I have yet to see one of us on the news reading the hostage letters. Um, mm. They is treating us good. <laughs> uh, we all chilling and shit. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Ray Ray and Big Steve and Jason uh, Newport. That was brilliant, man. The over exaggeration of accent is absolutely brilliant. You're not going to see it. And terrorists are smart. They know what they're doing there, you know. they terrorists. They know black people's bad bargaining chips. <laughs> they called the White House. Hello? We have got five blood. Hello. <laughs> that was Dave Chappelle rated them from killing them softly. I've haven't seen that stand up for quite some time i did the uh, bit for it uh what do you call it a few weeks ago uh how old is 15 really it is part of that same uh what do you call it stand up and it is absolute brilliant man especially the whole chicken bit because i as i mentioned i've actually had somebody come up to me and he goes like what do you have for dinner today curry and i'm like fuck you man what do you think i eat all the time it's not like curry every day even though I did have curry that day, I'm not going to lie. But still, man, fuck you. That bit, it's like, you know what I mean? Don't predetermine what somebody is doing based on their race or uh, culture. This is fucked up, man. Like you said, sometimes the racism is so bad, you just like, fucking hell, this was bad. And the movie he's talking about, uh, Burning Mississippi, is a very, very fucked up movie. I watched it years ago. Uh, it, it's really fucked up. But still, overall, I really do love man uh, Dave Chappelle. Uh, and you can tell how he's evolved as a comedian. Uh, back then, he used to talk about racism and a bit more jokey about it. But now, he's uh, when he's talking about racism, it's more of a lecture. You know what I mean? You can see he's evolved from a... a a small comedian to such a huge huge like people call him the goat for a reason you know what i mean like he is absolutely brilliant i really did enjoy that and i'm looking forward to doing more dave Chappelle. so keep an eye on for that and if you enjoyed this like subscribe share and leave a comment also you can check out my other videos for dave Chappelle. and i'll see you guys next time